Aha! So you can get up here. Ah, that, 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 that. Ah, shoot. Am I stuck into the wall? No, no, I'm not stuck into the wall. Welcome back to the fifth episode of Slime Rancher. Uh, I was not intending to open up there, but I just kind of started talking, and uh, I, I mark my episodes by what parts I, I, I'm, I stay silent for on the on the waveform, so. Anyways, uh, I am just picking up some hens and such. It is 2.30 in the morning, in-game. It is like 4.30 in the afternoon, uh, real time, so. Uh, I don't know why you would need that information. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure it's uh, rather completely useless. To a viewer, anyways. I mean, if you really wanted to date this episode, you know, you could. But, I don't see people attempting to do that as much, but uh, with, with, with my videos, so I don't think that's something I need to necessarily worry about. Nice, and I can carry over 20. See, so there was actually purpose in getting that last tank upgrade. And there we go. So this is probably one of my new favorite games. I just got to say, because I've already played through this. I, I don't want to say whole thing once, but, you know, it, it's it's early access. So I'm sure that people are uh, giving it the benefit of the doubt here, but it's already such a like it's a really creative idea, I think. As for whether it's n whether or not it's like well done, I'm I have no, I've not been a huge uh, proponent of. Okay, so they are reproducing, I think. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's check. Uh, slime re resources. Stony hen. Uh, twelve chickens. Okay, so so long as there's less than twelve chickens, we should be good in here. So that, that ought to get the coitus flowing. I don't know. There we go. Land your pink blocks. Uh, nice. And tabby slimes go back in there. Oh, you can start to see the sun coming up over the hills there. It's really early dawn here on the farm on the rhubarb ranch. I don't know why I did the rhubarb ranch. I just am a fan of alliteration, as you've probably noticed with my episode titles. Or maybe you haven't noticed. I don't even, I don't know what you notice. If I can, it's like, that's up to you. Well, uh, plort collector. Ah, oh, shit. I thought I, I thought I had exactly enough, but wow, there's quite a lot of these. That's what happens when you feed uh, when you feed them their like favorite type. They just tend to go a little hog wild. There we go, and I'm gonna get an automatic plort collector here. Noise. And... Nope, that isn't quite done with the thing. Ah, nutrient soil. Purchase. So, that means that uh, I get more fruit every time. And then it'll just be 850 to upgrade that little plot with the same upgrades and everything. Um... I am curious what the next step should be. Because 1500 will get me that side cave, which gives me access to the, um, those nighttime, uh, these guys, the little, uh, phosphor slimes. But, uh, the phosphor slime plort isn't really all that high value, so, uh, and considering the fact that, like, you can get a little, uh, what is it? You can buy an upgrade for the pens that enable people to, or it, what it does is it uh, blocks sunlight, and so those, it keeps those uh, slimes from evaporating during the day. 
But the uh, only problem with that is that it's like a couple hundred just for that one particular type of slime. And, uh, and you've already got that side uh, area, which basically it's just not a long-term financial, uh, financially feasible idea. And Jesus Christ, calm down. Oh, yeah, and also there's Gordos, which uh, Gordos are kind of like the progression in the game. So as you feed uh, a Gord... Oh, shit. Well, I'm heading out of here. Uh, as you feed a, uh, a given Gordo, um, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. But it doesn't make any plorts, but eventually like it'll split off into a bunch of different slimes. Um, and, uh, uh, sorry, I just kind of spaced off there. I was like, ah, plorts. Um, the, the fuck was I even saying? God, I have this in conversation all the time. I don't even remember. Something about the phosphor plorts, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. They they're 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 not a super uh I'm not not super enthused about those. Like I said a couple episodes back, I got really into this game. So not into it enough apparently to remember what the fuck I was talking about, but just into it enough to uh really know the market ins and outs of uh what it is to be a plort trading ranchman. As they would say. I'm not sure why I had to clearly enunciate and emphasize? Yeah, emphasize. I'm not sure why I had to clearly enunciate and emphasize that, but you know what? Whatever. Um got a bunch of fruit and absolutely no uh Ooh, hey, here's a pink one. I can I can get rid of the fruit, uh because the pink guys, since they're lowest value. They eat, or well, since they eat everything, they are the lowest value, but I did not have my headphones turned up high enough to hear that noise the first time I played. That little blah, 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 blah. Anyways. Ooh, fox. Nice. A, a stony hen. Well, the only thing I want to feed this guy is fruit, so. Uh, and it takes, like, as you can tell, 30 to 50 fruits or more to actually get a, uh, to get a Gordo to explode. But, uh, once they do, they give you, like, a key or, uh, they let you access, like, a warp pad or something that lets you travel back to the ranch faster. So, they're, they're things worth pursuing, I should say. Uh... Since I'm working on the pink one first, I will just get the fuck away from my carrots. Since I'm working on the pink one first, I will go ahead and... I don't even need your plorts. It's worth six bucks to me. You think I'm gonna deal with six bucks? I don't even shit the bed for more or less than $70,000. I don't know if I... That, I'm pretty sure I... That quote came out incorrectly. I'm supposed to be quoting Ninja Brian's, uh... I don't get out of bed for less than $70,000, or I don't take a shit for less than $70,000. One of the two. But uh, apparently, I'm not going to be shitting the bed unless you pay me five figures or more. Now, preferably, uh, I, I, would, uh, I would want this done in a bed that is not mine. However, I am uh, willing to render my services to anyone and everyone willing to pay that amount of money for poop... Uh, the bed, bed pooping, bed pooping, I should say. I was gonna, I almost said poop crapping. <laughs> you take a turd and you just put it in the bowl and then, and then you sit down on top of it and then you take a shit on top of the turd. It's called shit crapping. Uh, it has been, it has not been a long day. It sounds like it's been a long day. I mean, if you were listening to the words that were coming out of my face and be like, Seamus, what's up? You okay? 
And I'd just be like, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I don't know where I was going with that, uh, but, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call this an episode, because this is, like, day five, uh, it's, like, noon, noon on day five. And I'm pretty sure it's been about ten minutes. That's what the audio, audio capture looks like, so. Anyways, uh, this has again been Rhubarb Senpai. Uh, but, I mean, you, kn you knew that, because... Ah, uh, nah, I don't wanna... I don't wanna upgrade those guys. Wait a minute, maybe I do. I'm getting a little distracted. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Rhubarb Senpai. Stay classy, and I will catch you next time. Um, if you're not actually, uh... Oh, fuck! people playing in my yard. Sorry. Bye-bye!